Hey guys, it's Liv. Today I'm doing a QA. and a uh, A couple weeks ago, I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram, and I'm just going to go through and answer them all in sequence. So, let's begin. Favorite type of sports? Um, I hate all sports. I don't play any sports, and I never played a sport, so... If I had to pick one, I would say soccer just because my boyfriend plays it and I really like watching it be played. Your biggest fear. I think my biggest fear, kind of like my biggest irrational fear is tsunamis. I just always have like nightmares about them. Yeah, I would say tsunamis are my biggest fear. Uh, the farthest you've ever been from home. I think... It's not that far, actually. I haven't been too far from home. I think it's either the Bahamas or Turks and Caicos. So whichever of those is farther, then that's the farthest. My dream future, living somewhere tropical, um, maybe like Hawaii or like somewhere in the Caribbean. And I work online, hopefully doing like nutritional consulting and coaching people how to go plant-based vegan. Favorite movie or series? I think my favorite movie, She's the Man. I've seen it like a hundred thousand times, but my favorite TV series is either Parks and Recreation, The Office, The Mindy Project, and Suits. Favorite documentary is Cowspiracy, always. Um, but then behind Cowspiracy, I would say like the Planet Earth ones. My favorite book definitely the great gatsby but the movie gives me so many feels like i get so sad every time i watch it because it's just like so much my dream journey slash travel destination would have to be bali for a yoga retreat celebrity crush okay i have to think about this one i don't really have a lot of celebrity crushes i mean okay maybe i'll say like my girl crush and my guy crush so my celebrity girl crush right now is selena gomez I love her new album and she's just like killing it right now and super fabulous so I think her. And then my boy celebrity crush would have to be the guy that plays Jim on The Office. <laughs> He's also in other movies too and yeah I just like him. It's like a really dorky celebrity crush. Most people would be like Leo or like Zac Efron and I'm like weird guy from the office but always makes you happy even if you are way too sad or stressed um i think what always makes me happy is like baking or cooking like i love baking and cooking so much and it's like kind of a way for me to just like relax and do it often when i'm stressed because it just calms me down and then you have like cookies to eat after and maybe as for people like my boyfriend and my sister always they can, you pretty much always cheer me up when I'm sad or stressed. What is your vegan story? I went vegetarian about four years ago in my first year of university. I had mono and then I developed stomach issues after that. So I ended up like finding out I was lactose intolerant so I gave up dairy and then um, the summer after that year at the end of it I ended up going vegetarian and then I was vegetarian on and off eating fish but mostly just eating eggs. About a year and a half ago I watched Cowspiracy and I just went full vegan after that. How do you stay motivated? I guess it depends what we're talking about. Like for school um, I find it really hard to stay motivated for like my university classes that I don't really like but I just kind of force myself to do stuff. Like I don't really find motivation in it. I just like I'm like all right this is due tomorrow like gotta do it and then I just do it. My holistic nutrition diploma i'm like in love with studying that and it's so interesting to me and i can't wait to get my certification so that's my motivation in itself is just that i love doing it and then for i guess like for my blog and youtube and stuff i just also love doing it like the, it's my passion and my hobby so i guess my motivation is just like when i get feedback from you guys or when people leave comments saying that they like my stuff like that motivates me so much and I think that's similar for a lot of people like once you get feedback and you realize that people are actually like watching your videos or leaving a really nice comment then that's so motivating I don't really need too much motivation but 
definitely for school like I just try and take a very practical approach and I'm like this is gonna have to get done no matter what so I might as well just like do it now not complain about it and just get it over with. Um, and what's your morning routine like if you have anything special about it? I think something that's different, maybe not for a lot of you, but for a lot of other like normal people is my morning routine usually consists of making and photographing or like filming food. Um, my friend Emily says, who would you trade lives with for a day? I really have to think about this one. I guess it depends how this works. Like, would you actually be that person or would you just like trade lives with them and like you would still be yourself. Would it be like Freaky Friday? I don't know. Oh, I think I would trade lives with Yoga Girl because she lives in Aruba. She has like a dog saving foundation and is like constantly rescuing dogs and finding them homes. Like she's just amazing. You should check her out on Instagram, yoga underscore girl. All right, we have got a plethora of questions from Nourishing Megan. I love you. Um, how many years apart are you and your sister? We are pretty much exactly three years apart minus two weeks. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a dog. She is at doggy daycare today, so I can't show you her, but I'm sure you've seen her in my other videos. Her name's Chloe. She's like a little Norfolk Terrier. Favorite vegan junk foods? I really like vegan chicken fingers and vegan ice cream. Food do you like and dislike? Don't really like celery, and I don't really like fennel because I don't like black licorice. I really love raspberries. I'd have to say raspberries are like, oh, veg Erica, what's your favorite fruit? Okay, raspberries are my favorite fruit. What do you want to be when you're older? I kind of already answered this, but right now I'm studying to be a certified registered holistic nutritionist. So then I'll be able to do nutritional consulting and I'm hoping to be a like plant-based nutritional consultant. Thing that never fails to make you smile if we're talking just random things that never fail to make me smile, I'd have to say those videos about unlikely animal friendships. So like when there's like the orangutan and the dog one, oh, that's so cute. Is your boyfriend slash family vegan? So yeah, my sister is vegan. We went vegan around the same time and it's incredible. I love being able to like share such a huge part of my life with her. My parents are not vegan, but they are now very supportive of our veganism and like if we go to family dinners or if we have dinner together then a lot of the times they'll make either like a vegan friendly option or they'll have like vegetarian and we'll have vegan. So yeah, they're very like respectful of our choices and yeah, we've influenced them a lot to cut back on their meat and dairy consumption, but they aren't vegan right now. And my boyfriend is not vegan, but he's vegan when he's with me, which is very, very often. But, like, let's say he goes to someone's house and they have something that's not vegan, like, he'll eat it. He's not really at that level yet where he won't, like, he turns down things at, like, other people's house and, like, stuff that people make for him. But once we live together, we decided that like we're not gonna have animal products in our house because I don't want that at all so yeah we're just he'll be vegan when we live together how do you deal with a non-vegan family if we're talking immediate family like my parents they're really respectful of our choices for the most part and like we just kind of accept that we see differently on issues you know you can't always influence everybody right away to change so you just have to kind of like let it roll off your shoulders as long as they aren't being disrespectful to you and you aren't being disrespectful to them then it should work out fine with my extended family we still always have like a lot of meat at family dinner so Bridget my sister and I have just decided that like lately we've just been not going to those dinners for Thanksgiving we just ended up going for a dessert and we just kind of like skipped the whole like dead bird stuff altogether. so I mean, with your family, if they're making comments, like, brush it off, don't let it get to you, but at the same time, like, if it's really uncomfortable and they're just being really disrespectful, then just remove yourself from the situation completely, and they usually get the message if you do that, that, like, you're not fucking around, like, you, you don't appreciate the comments at all, so that's my suggestion. So, okay, yeah, that's all the questions. Thank you for asking such good questions. I want to know what your guys' answers are to some of those. Tell me who your celebrity crush is and what your favorite foods are. And yeah, just answer whatever questions you want because I love 
hearing your guys' answers too, and I love hearing stories you guys have because you're all really funny and awesome. If you have any other questions, I'll probably do another Q&A in the future, so you can always just leave them below or comment on my Instagram or anything you want. And yeah, that's everything for me today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day wherever you are. Um, and if you're not having a fantastic day, maybe like go bake something. And yeah, I will see you guys next time for another cooking video. Yeah.